So welcome to the electronics lab for a quick demo on this method I accidentally encountered of converting a simple CRT analog oscilloscope into a storage oscilloscope, or at least some ghetto approximation thereof. Bottom line is that it has the ability to store information for an extended period of time. The only modification I made to it was to include um, within the housing this simple triangle wave generator. So it seems impossible, but I'll show you how it works. Okay, so if I make the sweep way out of whack with the, in terms of frequency, with the oscillator frequency, it appears to just evenly illuminate the, uh, the screen here. So I'm flooding the screen with electrons. And I'm getting some weird, at the lower intensities anyway, I get some weird interactions. Let's try and cancel that out. All right. And so when the screen is evenly flooded with electrons, you can kind of see this weird burn mark in the middle. Uh, I didn't put that there. That's been there since before I purchased the scope about 10 years ago, secondhand. Okay, so I just want to take you through quickly this loop of uh, how this works. So I'm going to deflect the trace off the burn mark into a clean part of the screen and uh, start with the intensity way down low. Flip over to some wave that looks decent. And now I'm going to crank the intensity up. And instantly, this wave is burned into the screen. I don't need to uh, leave this at, at an intensity for very long. Now, there is a there is an integration time here, so uh, it might be worthwhile to hack the scope to pump the brightness up if I was trying to record fast events. But anyways, so I'm going to turn it back down in brightness so that I don't smear the trace. And uh, then we'll go up to, up to, um, sorry, looking at it through the camera here. Just deflect the trace. We'll make it blurry again. Get our even fill. And so, whoops, that's not a very good, let's get it more even. More even fill than that. There we go. Okay. So I don't know how this is going to look contrast wise, if you'll be able to see that waveform or not. I'm going to play with the, I think that's too intense. So the contrast isn't very good on my camera, apparently, but this is really quite a clear display to my eye. So I've recorded this, this triangle wave. And so it does fade over a minute or a couple of minutes if you're blasting it with electrons like this. But if you just turn the scope off, this waveform will persist for a long, long time. Let's see if I can do something about this focus here. All right, so I'm just going to do that again. Let's uh, write a, a fast triangle wave now. So I'm going to crank the intensity way up. Crank the intensity way back down so I can just see it. We'll deflect it off scale intensity back up. I'm kind of hamming up this. You don't have to deflect the trace every time. I'm trying to make it sort of analogous to, oh man, that contrast is really not so good. Oh, that didn't work so well. Uh, I can see it, but let's see if I can get it focused. So I can see it, but let's try a slower one. Let's try something like this guy here, right there. So I'm burning the screen, not permanently, hopefully. In fact, I've, it kind of seems like I'm fixing that burn mark by doing this weird stuff. I don't know if it's possible to heal CRTs, but I digress. Go back up to Let's see. See? Now look at that. Whoops. Get the... You can see that slash through the triangle wave. You'll have to take my word for it. This is pretty clear in person. I can't get this at any brightness level to come through. Let me play with this some more. Whoa, I burned some more stuff on the screen. No, that's, that's no good. 
Anyways, you get the idea. Okay, and so now the last one here that I want to do is to get this. Oh, there we go. If I can get that pattern slow. There, you can see it. It's fading fast. It's already fading, but I hope those traces I recorded coming through here. If I was in camera mode, I could probably capture this a bit better, but in video camera mode on my phone, it's there, there's no option to change the exposure and stuff like that. So, okay. So now we've learned the lesson that um, it fades pretty quick. So let's see if I can show you these other waves. I'm gonna try and get this stable. Okay. So now in the bottom half of the screen here, below my, oops, make sure we're focused below my burn mark, I've recorded in vector mode two spectrums from my spectrum analyzer circuit, which was featured on the channel last week. Okay, so you can see here that this is a clipped sine wave from my pure tone oscillator, very clipped. <laughs> and this is a pure tone as well. These aren't the same amplitude level and they're set differently, the frequencies are different. You can kind of see the frames it might be washing out already. Actually, this is looking all right on here. I'm pretty surprised. 